Hello everyone, Rich here with another Linux video. In this one I'm going to show you how to take video files, convert them, and burn them to DVD, as in a real DVD disc. I am currently using PC Linux OS Phoenix Edition, although this should work with any version of modern desktop Linux, whether it's Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Zubuntu, Fedora, Arch, whatever you happen to be using. It's all about the apps. As long as you have the proper apps, which I will show you, this will work. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to actually get a video file. I suggest getting BBS the documentary because it's awesome to know your computer history. And this is a great film. Fantastic film. It is on archive.org. If you go to archive.org and search for BBS the documentary, it's all here. All eight discs. So anyway, I suggest getting the DivX. The, the highest quality is the DivX file, and episode one, which I downloaded, is 332 megs, which I placed in my home folder under a subfolder called Movies, and there it is right there. Okay, once we have our file, there is a nifty little app with PC Linux OS called DVD, which is spelled D-E-V-E-D-E. -E -E. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny, but it's true. So anyway, on launch of this, it gives you uh, one, two, three, four, five options. You can do a regular video DVD, a VCD, Super VCD, a CVD, which is a China video disc, or DivX MPEG-4. Most likely you want to do a regular video DVD, so that's what I'm going to show. First thing we need to do is add that file we downloaded, so I'll hit Add. And uh, note this part first, whether you're using PAL or NTSC, because uh, depending on what part of the world you're in, that, that may matter to you. So if you're in the United States, it would be NTSC. If you're in the UK, you would do PAL. So I hit this little link up here, and I go to my Movies folder and choose that AVI that I downloaded. You can adjust the volume and the audio tracks and so on from here. You can also do a preview, uh, but before I do that, just move this up a little bit. There are advanced options where you can adjust the audio rate and the video rate and a whole bunch of stuff. You can also, uh, where it says split the file in chapters for easy seeking, size and minutes, uh, this, like I said, DVD, uh, as in D-E-V-E-D-E, -E -E, this is great software considering it's free and it does all this stuff. Anyway, so I will do a preview of this file and you can choose how many seconds you want to preview. I'm just going to do uh, really short here. I'll do 10 seconds of preview and I'll forward that. It will encode it on the fly right here just to show you the preview of what you're going to see on the disk when it's done. Now I'm not going to show the entire encoding process because obviously that would take a long time. I mean look how long it's taking just to encode 10 seconds. But anyway once this is done it will uh, play the 10 seconds so you can preview it to make sure it's correct and it just started. Okay, there. here's my 10 second preview. There's the introduction to the film. And after the 10 seconds, it should just go black. As far as I'm aware... And eventually it'll go black. I think that's longer than 10 seconds. Well, anyway, there it goes. It finally went black. Looks good to me. Replay preview, no. And we're good there. So I'll hit OK. Now I need to modify the uh, title for this, so I'll highlight Title 1 and do Properties and Changes to BBS colon the documentary. This can be any name you want. And uh, this will actually be a button, so it will, uh, and it asks you what this button will do so you can just use this by default and that's fine so I hit OK and then I can preview the menu by doing this and this is what it will look like plain but it works you can change it obviously go into menu options you can change the background text color to a whole bunch of stuff but I'll just keep this as is again check out the format down here to make sure you've got the proper um, what format, whether it's NTSC or PAL. I'm in the United States, so I'm using NTSC. Now here's something that's actually pretty darn cool, is that uh, you can choose between a mini CD, 185 meg, CD, 650 meg, CD, 700 meg, mini DVD, which is 1.4 gigs, 
DVD 5, which is what most of you use, which is 4.7, and a DVD, I think that's a 9, which is a 8.5. Now, let's just say for the moment you don't have a blank DVD, but you do have a blank CD kicking around, one of the 700 megs. I can click this and then adjust disk usage. Okay, now notice what it did here. It says the estimated length is 685 megs, so it will automatically size down the total length of the file. And if it's under 700 megs, you can totally burn this to CD, but it will play as DVD when I put it in the console player, and that's awesome. Now watch what happens if I change that back to, say, DVD 5 and adjust. Now notice it changed it to a much higher size. So this is estimated length is, you know, 2.5 gigabyte now instead of that other size. But if I go down to the CD size, it will, and adjust, it will c compress it down even farther. So that's just great. <laughs> All bundled within the same software. So if you have, say, uh, some episodes from YouTube or something like that that you want, uh, downloaded and you wanted to put some MP4s or AVIs or whatever and put them to CD but have them play as DVDs, you can just choose this format, adjust the disk usage, and go for it. And as long as it is this number is under this number, you're good to go. And then after that, you just hit forward and you type in the directory you want it to go. By default, the directory name is called movie. I called mine BBS. Uh, actually, one more thing here. You can go into the advanced options, and this is what I normally do. I create the ISO. Now, you could just do the disk structure, um, but I choose the ISO and I'll show you why in a moment. Oh, and this is also important too. This checkbox where it says use optimizations for multi core CPUs. If you have a multi-core processor, check that off. It does make the encoding go faster. Not way faster, but it is a noticeable speed improvement. And then you hit forward and go for it from there. Now once done, I'll show you what you get. You get the ISO. And then what I can do from here, at least in PC Linux OS, you could do this, I believe, in pretty much any Linux environment. Uh, modern li Linux desktop environment, just right click and you should have a burning application. The one in PC Linux OS is XF burn. Now I'm going to get a little uh, nasty gram message here or I should. Oh no, actually no I won't because I have the drive connected currently. Um, you just burn the image and put in the disk, whether it's a blank CD or DVD or whatever it is, burn it and then it's ready to play in a console player after that and you're done and that's awesome. Uh, my favorite part, which goes without saying about uh, DEVEDE, -E, is the adjust disk usage thing because there used to be utilities like DVD shrink, for those that remember that one, they used to pretty much do the same thing where you take a DVD 9 image and then shrink it down or if you have a video file that's really huge you'd have to bring it into other software and do the, you don't have to do that with this, just bring it in here and choose the appropriate disk size and then just adjust. It will uh, recompress it down to the appropriate size that will fit on the disk. And that's just plain awesome. So I highly recommend this app uh, in a Linux environment for doing disks because it's just that good.